considering how big this is, you'd see it for absolutely miles around. State leaders are taking a serious look at it, but opposition is already forming. What do you think of that statue? I think it's pretty cool. Jillian Lewis and her best friend, Aaliyah Foote, had never heard of the Statue of Responsibility until I showed them this picture. I think it's <laughs> massive. I don't know why it needs to be that big. It's 300 feet, envisioned to supplement the Statue of Liberty. Efforts to build it in California have failed. Now a group wants to try here in Utah. I love it. Representative Jordan Tusher co-chairs the Point of the Mountain State Land Authority. That group just voted unanimously to take the first step toward possibly building the statue by reviewing the proposal. It's important for us to balance those principles of liberty and responsibility, and together they equal freedom. I think the, the design that we saw was is gaudy. Senator Nate Bluen is not a fan. It seems like this one thing that I don't know where it came from is just being railroaded through the process. He thinks getting the point built first is more important. He also worries about getting public input, which Tusher says will happen during the evaluation. It will be a public, open, transparent process where we'll get a lot of public feedback. Art tends to evoke strong feelings, but as I talked with Jillian and Aaliyah, who both grew up in Draper, this big idea seemed to grow on them. Uh, I think that would be cool yes. and be able to see the Salt Lake Valley. It's so beautiful. Now, one big question a lot of people are having is the cost. Who would pay for this? Representative Tusher tells me that this would be paid for entirely with private funding and not tax dollars and that only the land would come from the state of Utah. This evaluation process, which is just beginning, is expected to last at least several months. Live in Draper, Daniel Woodruff, KUTV 2 News.